All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. In today's video, we're gonna be going over some updates, um, updates to my channels, how I'm doing videos, uh, personal life updates, as well as updates on my return to Japan this year. And before we begin though, you guys might be wondering what all that stuff is in the background. And that is, um, I just got done doing laundry and decided to cover it with a blanket because don't we cover all our problems with a blanket? Hashtag relatable. So anyway guys, let's get on with the actual bit of news here. And the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is that I'm no longer gonna be doing monthly update videos. And the reason behind that is, I feel like they've pretty much run their course on this channel and they've kind of been the same old, same old for a while now. And I feel like I've been in a way obligated to make those videos, just if anything, to put something up on the channel to show you guys I'm not dead. I feel like I've, you know, not been giving you the type of content that I'm necessarily proud of. If I do have something significant I want to update you guys on, I'll be sure to post an update video, but I don't want to feel obligated to do so just because, well, it's a new month, so gotta get cranking on that update video about nothing. Uh? The next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the fact that I've reopened my old channel, youtube.com slash andysan. And the reason behind that is I decided to make that basically my archive channel. So it has all of my old videos and I'm gonna be slowly phasing newer videos onto that channel as well. Mostly my old update videos and a couple other stuff. The reason behind that is it's, well, way easier to do on my old channel because they already have like most of the videos on there anyway. And so over the next uh, couple months, I'm gonna be phasing out some update videos on this channel and moving them over to that channel. So if you guys wanna check out all my old vids, uh, be sure to do that, youtube.com slash andysan. This leads into the next bit of news, which is I'm gonna be changing the direction of this channel. Um, the reason you guys have been seeing uh, some Andy before Japandy stuff as opposed to like vlogs and other stuff is that, you know, I want to make this channel a bit more Japan centric. The reason behind that is, is well, I'm gonna be going to Japan this year. So I want to kind of set the table, set the groundwork for that. And that's one of the reasons why I'm phasing out old update videos and just some other stuff that's not really relevant to this channel anymore. And that's why I've been phasing them into their own archive channel. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more Andy Before japan -y stuff and other Japan-related stuff on this channel. I am going to also do vlogs about my life and things like that that aren't necessarily Japan-related, but when I'm in Japan, I'm in Japan, so, you know. <laughs> but the channel is going to be mostly centered on Japan stuff. So let's get on with some personal life updates. Now, as you guys know, I've been doing the freelance video editing thing for a couple years now. I think up going on two years the time it's recording. Thanks to that, I've been able to keep afloat while looking for a job out here in North Carolina. I moved out here a couple months ago to save up some money so I can get back out to Japan this summer, doing the freelance video editing thing for other channels to keep myself afloat, pay expenses, save up. And I've also been selling a lot of my stuff on eBay. So I sold a lot of my cameras, camera equipment and other big electronics, some DVDs, Blu-rays, things like that. And I've also managed to get myself a new work at home job. Really excited for that. It's just a temporary part-time gig, which works out for me because I'm only gonna be here for a couple months anyway until I get back out to Japan later this year. And it still gives me enough time to continue to work on videos. So basically for the next couple months, the rest of the time that I'm here in the States, I'm basically just gonna be working, saving up, selling stuff, because I'm really, really adamant about getting myself out to Japan this year. You know, I've said in years past, you know, oh, wouldn't it be nice if I could go to Japan, or oh man, I really miss Japan. But really, I, I didn't do anything to progress towards that. I just, you know, talked about it. I didn't really do anything beyond talking about it, you know, because I felt like it was so out of my reach. You know, I had all these other things like, well, you know, what about my job and what am I going to do about my car and all this other stuff. And it's just like, you know, I've kind of gotten to a point where even I'm sick about hearing how much I miss Japan. I think at this point, you know, it's kind of like put up or shut up, basically. So like if I'm really serious about missing Japan and wanting to go back to Japan, 
I should make a serious effort to do that. So that's why I moved out here, North Carolina, helped me save up, spend some time with the bro. You know, can't wait to get back out to Japan, making the videos that I used to make for the Andy Japandi series. And, you know, I've been rewatching it here and there. I've been following a lot of newer YouTubers on the scene, kind of getting some ideas for what's new out there and just how they do things. And、um, just looking forward to it, man. You know, once I get out to Japan, be making videos not just for myself, but also、uh, being more hands on with my、uh, freelance video editing clients because they're all out in Japan or in, in Asia. You know, I just want to help them out as best I can, you know, whether that's just being an extra cameraman or, you know, being more hands on with the editing, just kind of showing them, yeah, you know, if you do it like this, you know, it'll be, it'll be cool. And, All this other stuff.、Uh, the last little bit of news here that I'll talk about before we head out is my update on my return to Japan. So, as you guys know,、uh, I've been applying to schools in the Tokyo area,、um, I've been applying to one in particular. And、um, right now, since the winter break has pretty much ended for colleges, I'm now able to submit college transcripts. So, that was The next big barrier as far as、uh, paperwork goes, because I've ended up submitting everything else that I could. I was just waiting for winter break to end so I could request transcripts and you know, they'll be able to send them out in a timely manner. Right now, just working on that, getting a letter of recommendation written up by、uh, one of my former bosses. So once we get all that stuff in,、um, the application will start processing. And from there, you know, it's either a yay or a nay. And I'm hoping it's a yay, obviously. In the event that it's a nay, the next point of action would be to, you know, try to find a college here in town, take some classes, boost my GPA, because I think, I think my GPA is the only thing that's really holding me back. I know the last time I was in college, I didn't really do so well. And a lot of it, well, all of it really was on me. And, you know, I've learned a lot from my times in college. And you know, I just feel like environment plays a huge role in success. You just think about even plants. You know, some plants grow really well in the desert, others, not so much. I feel like you know, when I was in college last time, it was up in Michigan. I really didn't have a friend base or you know, family base out there that I could reach out to if I needed help. Or even just to like, come over on a weekend and have a nice meal and hang out and catch up and stuff. I really didn't have that up in Michigan. It was pretty much just me by myself. The difference between me going to Michigan versus me going back out to Japan is that I have a huge、uh, friend base out in Japan. You know, I know so many people out there through my time networking when I was stationed out in Japan. And even since getting back here, you know, my network has expanded just through meeting people online through other people I knew from networking. Out in Japan. You know, I was talking with Tokyo Kuni the other day.、I、just sent him a message, you know, asking, you know, I'm going to be going back to Japan this year. And I was just wondering, like, you know, what type of videos do you think I should make? And he basically gave the old Quentin Tarantino quote of, I just make videos that I want to see. And it just so happened that other people wanted to see them too. That really stuck with me. And I want to thank、uh, Kevin for、uh, responding to me for that. And I think that's the kind of mantra that I'm going to go with when I get back out to Japan is just making the videos that I want to make and, you know, not trying to chase after numbers and subs and all this other stuff. You know, just make stuff you want to make and if people like it, awesome. If not, hey, at least I'm happy with it. In any event, guys, I think that's just going to do it for this video. I want to thank you for watching this vid, liking, commenting, subscribing, all the cool. Call to action stuff that YouTubers do. And with that said, guys, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.